Yo, what the frig's up? Look at that fucking gun, man. Look how fucking sweet that is. Going to the range. Going to the range today. HK USP 40. Love it. Uh, some dude said, what's USP stand for? I'm almost positive, dude. I'm not quite sure because it's been a while. And my phone's going off. Universal self-loading pistol. Universal self-loading pistol. I'm pretty sure that's what it means, okay? If I'm wrong, about 50 people say, nah, and they'll all tell you. Trust me, they will. But I think that's what it means. So, let's back up a little. Let's put some more uh, money in the change jar because, you know, you got to save for guns. And this is how the poor man does it. Still the same cup for I didn't dump it Don't, don't shove it too close. What's that you're shooting there? What is that? 40. 40 caliber. Oh, 40, yeah. Getting there now. Starting to get there now. Yeah. Done. No more. Gotta have five. Okay. State of Florida? Huh? State of Florida? Yeah, it looks like Florida. Yeah. It's an awesome gun, I'll tell you that. Had a misfire, gotta keep it pointed down range. 
Uh, that's the ammunition, not the gun. Bad primer. Once you get used to it, that gun shoots good. Damn. HK, USP, zero defects. There's the misfire right there. Actually, you should leave it in the gun, keep the gun pointed down range for a while. That was my mistake, but it's still the special. Pretty accurate gun, man. Not bad. Really? This is the first time really shooting this gun, so. Alright, see you guys later. Alright, back from the range. I have a really good report. As you can see by the uh, Bill's expression and the way he's standing, he's very, very happy. And uh, that means the gun did very, very well. Um, Alright, Bill, chill out, dude. Look at him. And no malfunctions no defects I uh, have one misfire now I'm always going to stick to the basics I don't care if I have a hundred thousand subscribers because there's always new subscribers that are new gun owners so I'm going to say stuff that you guys already know I'll never stop doing that because how's anyone going to learn nobody I mean when I started I didn't start out learning I didn't know shit about guns you know we, we all were at a point where none of us knew fucking squat about guns so that's why you got to constantly bring up your basic fundamentals. <coughs> I guess that's how you would say it. I did have a misfire. If you don't know what a misfire is, a misfire is when the hammer strikes the firing pin, the firing pin strikes the primer, and the projectile does not fire through the weapon. That's a misfire. And I made a mistake at the range. I took the misfire out right away and put it down instead of leaving it in the pistol. If you have a misfire, what you're supposed to do is leave it in the pistol, leave the pistol pointed down gun range for at least a few minutes. You know what I mean? Uh, don't take it out right away and put it in your breast pocket. You could be, you could have a delay ignition and shoot your nipple off. Okay? So, yeah. That could happen. Alright. So what's cool about this uh, HK is one of the fastest field stripping pistols there is faster than the SIG, faster than the Glock, faster than the Springfield XD. It's faster than any gun I have. Okay? I'm gonna show you how fucking fast it is. Alright, let's make sure it's uh it's clear. Empty mag empty chamber okay 
Now when you strip the when you strip an HK, you do not have to pull the trigger. Even though the hammer's back, okay? Let's pretend uh, let's pretend the hammer's not back, so let's pull the trigger, dry fire it. Okay? And this is how you field strip an HK. All you do is pull the slide back to there. Is that fast enough? And that's not even fast, because I'm a dork. You know what I mean? If I wasn't such a fucking dork, someone I practiced it a couple times, they could probably just go, done. That's how fast. One of, one of the fastest stripping pistols you can buy is an HK. There's no pulling the trigger. You don't have to lock it back and do this first. You just pull the slide back, pull the pin out, bam. And there it is. And I love the slide stop pin on an HK. It's one of the best around. It has a big ledge on it, so you can chamber around really quick when the slide's locked back. Awesome. Love this. Heavy, good steel. It's, it's, strong, it's strong where it needs to be strong. The reason why I'm taking this apart is because uh, I'm just going to do a cleaning on it. But I'm not going to show you the cleaning. I'm just preparing it. And uh, we don't want to... Oh, fuck it. I got enough of this stuff. I really don't want to do it on this. So, man. Let me see what I got. I don't have shit, do I? All right. Oh, well. I'm going to roll it. There is a special recoil reduction system, guide spring rod, and buffer. Now, you got to remember, with these buffers, you want to put real thick grease on the springs. Because if you don't, if you just used gun oil, see how it's staying? It stays wherever you put it. That's, where you want it. That's what you want it to do. You don't want it to go like this, because I swear to God, your gun will sound like... You go like this with your gun, it'll sound like you're you're like playing a maraca. It's like ching ching. It's it's it, this this will be going like this ching. It'll drive you nuts. So what you do is you put a nice thick grease on here, and it makes it stick to it, and it won't make that noise. So I recommend you not use oil for that. Use thick grease. That's a good thing. And here's HK's beautiful polygonal barrel. It's, you know, there's a lot of polygonal barrel guns, but HK's on a huge higher level than most guns. That's why you pay a lot for this gun, is uh, all the work that goes into it. And we're going to just prepare it to get clean. Uh, I'll show you the target. So what I'll do is, for now, I'll just get some of this ballast oil. Okay, and just give it a light. Anywhere there's gunpowder, you don't need a lot of ballast, so that's what's good about it. You know, I just... Now this I might need some because I want to break up that grease because right now it's all mixed with gunpowder. You know what I mean? So it's like sludge right now. And you can say goodbye to this blue mat after this. So I'll let that sit and break up the uh, gunpowder. Put one finger on the bottom of the barrel, spray the inside of the barrel. You know what I mean? Spin it around a little bit like a washing machine. Alright. Okay, let that soak over there. Why is there a magic marker here? This, I won't clean this for like after a thousand rounds. You don't have to. All you gotta do is clean the follower a little bit. You don't have to take that apart and clean that. The slide, just a nice light. That's it. And just let it sit for 15 minutes and then clean, clean the shit out of it. Alright? Alright. Uh, what am I doing? Where's my target? Oh, I'll show you my target. I mean, you're you're going to see the target at the range. But I'll show you the target up close. Not a bad target. You got to remember, every gun you fire has a different trigger system. So uh, it, it, the trigger is the key to, your, to hitting your target. A good trigger. Once you get used to your trigger and you know your trigger, you start shooting really well with it. Okay. So this is the first time I really, second time I really shot this gun since I bought it, and it's been a long time. So. It's, it's a good target. That's about seven yards. I got one flyer. Uh, if a hole is within a half inch of all the other holes, I don't consider that a flyer. That's a flyer. That's way off the mark. This is my whole group. It's a little bit bigger than the size of my fist, so it could have been better. But that's all 50 rounds through the same target. So you can just see the HK, don't fuck around. I'm not used to it. I barely ever shot it. So just imagine when you get good with it, how good this gun can shoot. You know what I'm saying? This is cold shooting here. 
Okay, I'm not patting myself on the back. I'm patting the HK on the back. It's a good target. I'm happy with that. And what I'll do is I'll mark this HK USP 47 yards. Put the date 7, wherever the fuck it is, 9, 11. I don't even know what it is. I think it's 7, 8, or 7, 9. I think it's the 8th today. Who gives a shit? And I'll just put that away and keep a record of it. And then the next time I shoot, uh, I'll compare that target to this one and see if I'm getting any better with it. Okay?